New construction in a century-old building is always going to be a challenge. We were very fortunate with the selection of materials in this facility that a lot of the materials are durable and of high quality, so they have stood the test of time. From an engineering perspective, this is an incredible project. When you hear of names like Tesla and Westinghouse and companies like General Electric that did the distribution for the facility, it's incredible. We had to determine that the building was safe for us to start to construct to create this adaptive reuse project. We started in 2017. It's been a race to get everything completed. I'm Marcelo Grosso, Senior Director of Engineering, Parking and Transportation. I'm also the lead on the engineering side for the adaptive reuse of the Niagara Parks Power Station. We started by building this coffer dam. One of the very first things was we had to stop the water so that then we could work in front, inside of the building. The building is like an iceberg. What you see above, as grand as it is, there is a lot more below the surface. Some of the masonry had been underwater for over 100 years. So now that we had built a coffer dam, stopped the water, we were able to deal with the masonry and do those repairs, which mainly were done in-house by our own staff. One of the projects in the forebay was to build a brand new concrete wall within the arches. It will hold the water back for another 100 years so that the plant can be preserved. We poured two concrete slabs to the left and to the right of the water feature, and on there we were able to deal with all the amenities so the public can enjoy the facility and then walk into the main generator hall, which is almost as if the day when it was operating. The roofs had been deteriorated, uh, there was no saving them, so we completely rebuilt the roofs. We were able to replace all 26 windows across the front forebay of the power plant. From multiple cranes on site, excavators, dump trucks, any piece of equipment, it's been to the site. Protection of the heritage and the preservation was of the utmost importance. It actually drove all the decision making. We had multiple pieces of equipment in the facility. The Exciter is a combination of a motor generator and it actually generates DC power. We were fortunate enough that there were four exciters. We were able to take one of them. What we wanted to do was reduce its weight because the actual exciter was incredible. It weighed 45,000 pounds. We gutted it, we sent it out for coating, we brought it back, we reassembled it, and then we had a crane on site. We placed it onto its new home at about 16,000 pounds. And what we hope is that when people come to the power plant plaza, that they're able to you know, be drawn in by a piece of industrial art and hopefully that will also excite them to want to come into the facility. The governor, I would say, is one of the most special pieces in the plant. It controlled the flow of water to the turbine. They really dictated the speed of the generator. We're well over 75 contractors. We're well over 400 people that have had an impact, that have been able to touch this plant. We've had over 100 of our own staff working in the facility. We're very fortunate at Niagara Parks we have an excellent team of qualified tradespeople and excellent laborers. My favorite aspect of this is the opportunity that this plant presents to teach children, young individuals, about science, engineering, mathematics, and technology. This plant is full of STEM. So I'm hoping that uh, as we get younger generations through here, it will inspire them to become the next Tesla, the next Westinghouse in the world.